Well, Mark Levin has a beef with uh, Michael Savage because they used to compete on the, at the same time, and then Savage moved to a later time, and they just never liked each other. Levin is vicious in his attack. Let's listen. You now he goes on the airwaves and he trashes a couple of my friends, Rush, Sean, claiming they're not conservative <laughs> enough, you know, like him. I don't know, I've never seen Wiener Nation at a Tea Party rally. I never seen Wiener Nation uh, helping the conservative movement. I know he uh, has done a real shakedown operation. I mean, I know he set up a legal defense fund because he's so poor. He needs his listeners to help pay for him because the big bad British government won't let him in Britain. I mean, who the hell even wants to go there? But that's beside the point. He's such a victim. Let me tell you something, you you little troll. <laughs> you little nobody. I kicked your butt in the ratings head to head, one end of the nation to the other. That's why you're late night. Got it? I'd like you to come back at 6 p.m. against me. Eastern, of course. So I can do it again, Snaggletooth. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I know all about you. All your little secrets. How you trash other hosts. How you try to how to try to position them to the left of you. You're a puke. I'm gonna tell you something else. I'm not finished on this subject. I am not finished. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize to you. But this thigh rash, this thigh rash is a hideous <laughs> person. Yes, I remember what he said about parents with autistic children. I remember all that stuff. Yeah, I think I might do a one-hour special. The wiener we didn't know. You like that, Mr. Beducer? No, the little wiener we didn't know. Actually, the, the transgendering wiener. Or something like that. I'll figure it out. Heads up there, pal. All right, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry you had to hear all that, but uh, but I needed to address it. You know, this this industry needs to be cleaned up. Oh, oh, come on! <laughs> oh, the ending was awesome, man. All oh, the ending was awesome. Now this, uh, he's a puke. He's a troll. He's a snaggletooth. He's a thigh rash. That little wiener. Dude, what are you in fourth grade? All these guys are children. They're children. And then at the end of calling him names and mocking him mercilessly for over a minute, he goes, yeah, no, this, this industry needs to be cleaned up. Cleaned up from what? Of you, if anybody. Look at how ridiculous you are. Calling people names like a child. No, 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 no. Look, anybody who ever gives the false equivalence argument, just call them an idiot right away. They're done. Dismiss them. They're done. Pump your brakes. Go sit outside. If you've ever said, yeah, it's crazy on the left and the right. Not like this, man. Not like this. Look, number one, I've never gotten into a feud with a progressive talk show host, right? Uh, number two, if we did, you can bet your ass it would be on a substantive policy issue that we're debating. Like, oh, well, you know, I prefer a slightly higher marginal income tax rate. Well, I prefer a moderate uh, marginal income tax rate. Really, why is that? Well, the evidence suggests... Blah, 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 blah. Like, we would be arguing about policy, about substance and how it affects the American people, because guess what? We talk politics for a living. That's what we do. This guy supposedly talks politics for a living. He's viciously attacking somebody like he's in grade school. But it was hilarious. You gotta give him that. And uh, you didn't hear earlier in the clip, he mocks him for uh, being in the closet. And he is in the closet, by the way, Michael Savage. He wrote a semi-autobiographical book where uh, he talks about how uh, he wrestles with demons about how he loves the male body figure and he always thinks about it and he can't escape it and he just wants to, to, to rub men and, and love men. <laughs> Apparently, Mark Levin did, for the first time in his life, a little bit of research and he knows about that, right? But look, there... Anytime they say, oh, right-wingers always talk substance, left-wingers don't, you play them this clip. <laughs> you play them this clip.